sometimes when you decide on your very first luxury fine jewelry piece, in this case a designer necklace, you can get stars in your eyes and get swooped away by the glitz and glamour of all the eye candy in the displays and talkative essays and make one of the biggest mistakes of your designer luxury fine jewelry journey. And I'm here to prevent that. Let's go. Mirage, welcome back to my channel. Since you've decided to dip your toes into the world of luxury fine jewelry, let me just say welcome to my channel and get ready to be addicted because that's all we talk about. I'm guilty of making you spend your money but I'm also here to help. So I have prepared a few minimalistic options for you. Minimalistic because since it's your very first, let's think, I know you're all addicts here by now, so, and experts, uh, by the way, thank you for all of the comments. If you haven't seen my last video on the Mother of Pearl and haven't read the comments, please do because I feel like it is so helpful and so informative and I feel like it's one of my best videos yet because I enjoyed making it and I have poured my heart and my soul and I, and I spilled all the tea on Van Cleef Mother of Pearl. So go check it out. It's an amazing video and uh, thank you so much guys for commenting on it and making me feel like I'm not alone. I truly appreciate it. It really helped me. Sleep at night. I have decided to keep the tan motif necklace. I've decided to wear it more until it becomes really bad and then replacing the stones or selling it. We will see how it goes and what I decide in the future since I changed my mind every five minutes. So anyway, let's just stick to the uh, theme of today's video. So I have four options from Van Cleef and Arpel for you guys today and I have only one from Cartier because the heart wants what it wants and it wants Van Cleef. What can you do? Van Cleef is like luxury jewelry god almost. I'm sorry god. with my very first piece from Van Cleef and Arpel and I'm gonna tell you why I got it. So it is, and I'm gonna show a lot of close-ups at the end. Most of my videos have close-ups at the end. It's hard. I try to rush these videos out for you and just, it's just a lot of work. I try, I don't sleep the night before I post my video. You get the freshest videos, like for example, this is Saturday night, you're gonna get the video tomorrow at 6 a.m. on Sunday, 6 a.m. PST. So my very first Van Cleef piece was this sweet Alhambra pendant in rose gold and carnelian. Carnelian is one of the most durable stones. When you ask me what stone I recommend, I recommend carnelian, onyx, chalcedony, and tiger eye. Those are the most durable. So the close-ups will be at the end. Most of my videos have close-ups at the end. So this is, um, it took me, I think I spoke about it in the past, it took me a long time to get the perfect red because they're mostly orangey brownish warm very warm tone undertone and I wanted like more pomegranate more raspberry tone so I saw maybe 15 or 20 pieces I went to Rodeo Drive Boutique I saw them in Las Vegas I saw them in Costa Mesa and one time when I was in Costa Mesa they had like 10 pieces that was years ago they had so many they can only show you three at a time or maybe they didn't know me, now they show me more, but they didn't know me in the past, maybe, you know, I would steal them and run away or something. So they showed me three, I refused them, I left, I think I left one on the tray, then they switched the other two for the new two, and then that's how I got to the brightest and darkest one. And she pretty much showed it to me at the very end, and I don't understand that because I right away asked for the most dark and vibrant and bright carnelian, and she kept bringing me orangey ones, so just don't be shy, ask for as many as they have, and wait. If you are after a carnelian piece, just wait, uh, let your essay know what color you're after, tax them uh, every week to follow up and just see what they get because I like my carnelian to be on a brighter red because I'm a cool undertone and uh, brown colors and this is ironic because I have tiger eye hair pendant to show you but those don't look the best on me this one looks really good and the reason I recommend this one instead of the hammered gold sweet pendant in rose gold it's because 
This is a pop of color, but it's so tiny and it draws your eye to it. It is extremely, it's a pop of color. It is so shiny. It has this glossy finish. It's like a piece of glass. It is absolutely stunning. It's very eye-catching. It is screaming, I am here. I'm a very tiny little piece of jewelry. I'm a very tiny necklace, but I'm already a Van Cleef. If that made any sense like it is so so pretty and the rose gold chain is extremely sparkly so this is my number one pick number one pick over all of these like I um, I started with the with the big guns <laughs> So I have Sweet Alhambra earrings in hammered rose gold and they get dull. If you see my entire jewelry collection, which is on my channel, it's a few videos um, back, like literally recently, I filmed it recently, you will see how dull hammered gold is. And hammered gold, especially in the sweet size, gets really, really dull. It's not shiny, it is not eye-catching. I'm contemplating selling those earrings. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video, what are you doing? Pause this video and go see that one because it's gonna shatter all of your hopes and dreams about the Van Cleef Mother of Pearl. Anyway, I have the Sweet Alhambra Butterfly and the reason I'm showing it to you, I am gonna sell it, I am selling it right now, but the Mother of Pearl in this pendant cannot touch your skin because the frame sticks out and the stone is small. So if you really, really want a Mother of Pearl piece from Van Cleef, get it in the sweet size because it's not gonna touch your skin. So I feel like it's not gonna have that like smudge and that cloudiness um, where it touches your skin. So I wore this one several times, mainly for photos and for Thanksgiving dinner, I feel like, because that's when I got it. So it didn't touch my skin because whenever I remove my mother of pearl pieces, whenever I remove any of my stone crystal pieces, I look at the stones under my nightlight and if they have any fingerprints, I wipe them. So this butterfly never had any fingerprint or any like skin touching it because it would have a little bit maybe of oiliness or something it never had that so I never even had to wipe it down but I did so if you really want a mother of pearl piece it is very shiny in this very little tiny butterfly it looks this little tiny butterfly looks extremely big for what it is like it is really tiny but when you wear it it reflects light and it becomes visibly bigger. So if you buy it in a sweet Alhambra instead of the sweet butterfly, it will also look bigger and I'm sure it's not gonna touch your skin directly because the the stone is small and the frame is chunky still. So it prevents, unless you like like press it against you, it's not gonna really touch your skin. So I highly recommend if you're after a mother of pearl piece to get it in a sweet size. That is something I forgot to mention in the previous video because I did have experience with a sweet mother of pearl piece and I never had an issue. This is a perfect perfection of a pearl and it's like peachy pink, it's really, really pretty. You can email me the email down below if you want it. It's like pretty much brand new. A lot of people who want to get the carnelian end up with the mother of pearl in the sweet size because mother of pearl just looks very, very bright. It's eye catching and it's, it just looks bigger and it makes a little bit more of a statement, even though I'd argue that because I feel like carnelian because it's red and when you wear something white or something light, it just, it's, it pops. It's amazing. Anyway. Moving on. So I'm going to finish up with the tiny necklaces and I'm going to show you my favorite Cartier necklace. And again, I don't know, um, I can't show you like this because it's very hard. I am going to insert the name of this little guy on the screen. I never learned the name of it, but I will show you the picture of the necklace I would highly recommend you against. So I am pro this pendant so much more than the other one. The other one looks like a flying saucer, like it's something that a caveman created on a stone with like a little handmade hammer. It doesn't look good. Guys, I know a lot of you have it. Please don't come after me because you know, to each their own. It's bright, it's shiny, the diamond is great, you know, but this one, you get to choose the size of the diamond, the clarity of the diamond, the color of the diamond. It is 0.2 carat and it is color E and it is 
VVS1 or VVS2, I think it's VVS1. So this is pretty much a perfect diamond, it's tiny, it's on this blindingly shiny chain, the same as Van Cleef makes, but sweet pieces have chunkier chain than this. So if you buy a sweet Alhambra piece, the chain will be thicker than this. Just know that this one is even thinner, but it is very hard wearing because I have a puppy who bites on it and it's fine. It is really cute because it's two cc's holding a diamond. It is such a stunning Cartier design. It looks very pretty. The diamond looks square because it has like little squares around, little corners that hold the diamond in place. This is one of my favorite necklaces to wear. I use it all the time. I wear it all the time. This is a no-brainer if you want to buy something from Cartier and it's a diamond. How can you go wrong with that? You cannot. Now the next one is gonna be a vintage Alhambra piece and this is a durable stone. That's the reason I wanted to show it to you. I don't wear it a lot but I wear it when it's sunny outside because of the way it bends light. It is absolutely stunning. This is my tiger eye vintage Alhambra pendant guys. This is money right here. This is buttery smooth drop dollop of honey in a gold frame. It's like amber in a gold frame. It's gold on gold on gold. It's like German chocolate cake, but German gold cake. <laughs> this is an absolutely stunning piece. The reason I'm showing this to you and not a mother of pearl, well, because I sold my gray mother of pearl pendant. I don't have a white mother of pearl pendant. And go see my previous video, I highly recommend it. If you are into Mother of Pearl, you need to know what I'm talking about in that video and you need to see the close-ups. But this is a very durable stone. So if you buy a white or gray Mother of Pearl in this frame, it's gonna touch your skin. It's gonna touch your skin, touch your sweat. The frame is not gonna protect because the stone is big. The flat, the surface of the stone is pretty big. So I would recommend Tiger Eye, Calcedony if you're into white gold, I would recommend Onyx or Carnelian. Those are the four stones that I would highly recommend because they're extremely durable. You can shower in them, I don't. I don't suggest you shower in them, but I have a fine motif. Uh, bracelet in onyx and I wash my hands the water gets on it the soap gets on it all the time and it is perfectly fine I'm gonna link a video of mine down below about how I wash uh, Van Cleef stones or any crystals I'm washing my onyx and Calcedony bracelet in that video it's a very cool video it's a fun video I liked filming it Anyway, so this is something if you're into stones, because I get it, sometimes hammered gold or guilloche, guilloche scratches, hammered gold is dull, sometimes you just want something, a pop of color or more of a statement piece, for example, an onyx would be a perfect statement piece, I feel like it would look great for date nights, for dinners, for night outs, it's just, it's a sexy stone. Onyx is very sexy. It's the hottest stone. It's so freaking hot, I can't. But I'm showing you the tiger eye because I do not have an onyx pendant and uh, maybe I'll get it at some point in the future, but for now I have this one. And the last one I'm gonna show you is, oh my gosh, none other than my white gold guilloche pendant because I love it very much. I wear it all the time. I think I say it about all of my pendants, all of my necklaces, but necklaces, it's such a big part. Necklaces, it's just such a big part of my jewelry collection. Necklaces is my passion. I feel like a necklace, it's just, it's sexy. It's, it's very pretty. I'm going to film these necklaces on me for you guys. So you're going to have some try on shots at the very end. I sleep in this necklace all the time when I wear it. I do not take it off for sometimes a couple of weeks and it does overlap with the chain and it does scratch. So just be aware also it does scratch if you have any zippers any hoodies it's gonna touch the zipper it's gonna scratch because it's guilloche but it's okay you will be fine because it still looks very pretty it still looks very shiny and it needs way more scratches for it to really dull down and yeah it probably will at some point but i washed it and it looks great my light is flickering i wonder why i hope this video was helpful and interesting if so please give it a like subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell leave your comments down below on what you would like to see next and i will see you tuesday bye guys